we want to evaluate the following expressions for the given values and check on the graphing calculator. So looking at our first expression here, we want to evaluate this for x equals negative 6 and y equals negative 4. So perform substitution. x squared will be negative 6 squared minus y squared will be negative 4 squared. And because the bases are negative, we do need these bases in parentheses. Negative 6 squared is equal to positive 36. Negative 4 squared is equal to positive 16, giving us a difference of 20. Let's go ahead and check this on the calculator. Just to emphasize how important these parentheses are, if we did enter negative 6 squared without the parentheses, this would actually give us the opposite of positive 6 squared, or negative 36. So when performing substitution, it is important to put parentheses around the base. Looking at our next expression, also copied below, we want to substitute 3 for x and 9 for y. So we'd have 7 times the quantity 3 minus 2 plus 8 times the quantity 9 squared plus 4. And now following the order of operations, we want to simplify inside the parentheses first, here and here. So we'd have 7 times, well, 3 minus 2 is just 1. And then we have plus 8 times 9 squared is equal to 81. So 81 plus 4 inside the parentheses. So we have 7 times 1 plus 8 times 85. And now we multiply. 7 times 1 is 7. 6 times 85 is equal to 680. And then finally we add 687 is the value of the expression given these values of x and y. Checking on the calculator, we'll enter this expression here. So we have 7 times the quantity 3 minus 2. We can leave off the parentheses here if we want, so just 3 minus 2, close parenthesis, plus 8 times the quantity Again, because the base is positive 9, we can leave the parentheses off. So we can just enter 9 squared plus 4, close parenthesis, and enter, verifying our answer. Looking at our next expression here, we'll substitute 6 for x and negative 3 for y. So we'd have 9 times 6 squared plus 5 and then minus the quantity y cubed is going to be negative 3 cubed minus 7. We simplify inside the parentheses here and here before subtracting. So looking at our first set of parentheses, we begin by simplifying the exponents. 6 squared is equal to 36. So we have 9 times 36 plus 5. Looking at the second set of parentheses, negative 3 cubed is equal to negative 27. So we'd have negative 27 minus 7. Still simplifying inside the parentheses. Here we multiply 9 times 36 is equal to 324. So we have 324 plus 5, and then we have minus the quantity. Here we'd have negative 27 minus 7, that's negative 34. And then 324 plus 5 is equal to 329. And then we have minus negative 34, which becomes plus 34 which equals 363. Let's go ahead and check this. To say some time I've already entered this, let's just check it. Looks good, press enter, which does verify our answer. We want to evaluate the expression for x equals negative two, so we'll substitute negative two for x. So our numerator is going to be negative 2 squared plus 3. The denominator is going to be negative 2 minus 4, and then we have plus 5. Remember, when simplifying a fraction, there are implied parentheses around the numerator and denominator. So we'll simplify them separately and then simplify the fraction. So looking at the numerator, we simplify the exponents first. Negative 2 squared is positive 4. So we have positive 4 plus 3. Over here we have negative 2 
minus four, that's negative six, plus five, which is equal to, this would be seven over negative six, or just negative seven, six, plus five, which I'll write as five over one. Now to find this sum, we must obtain a common denominator, which would be six. So we multiply five over one by six over six. So now we have a common denominator of six. The numerator is negative seven, plus 30, which is equal to 23, six. So this is equal to 23, six. Let's go ahead and check this on the calculator. We'll put the numerator in parentheses. We have open parenthesis and then negative two squared plus three, close parenthesis. So there's the numerator divided by in parentheses for the denominator, we have negative two minus four. Close parenthesis, so there's the denominator. And then we have plus five. Enter, and math, enter, enter, converts to a improper fraction, which verifies our answer is correct. I hope you found this helpful.